Hey guys, I just wanted to go over this scene in the Captain America Civil War trailer 2. Um, this is the Hawkeye Ant-Man scene, so let's jump into it. Um, so here we have Hawkeye. And what's interesting is that looking at this bow, this bow looks pretty big. It looks kind of bigger than the bows that we've seen him use before. I mean, it looks like it's almost the size of his whole torso and stuff. So definitely seems pretty big, this bow. I guess more uh, the style of a recurve bow and rather than a um, you know compound bow and stuff. Uh, you know, I think definitely is pretty interesting uh, to see that giant bow and stuff. Um, and then we see here, you know, if we go slow, it's interesting how he's doing this different technique. I don't know, I'm not much of a bow and arrow person. I don't know if this is this this is a different technique or anything. Um, if you know archery, you know, let me know if if there's a if this is called certain way the way he's doing it rather than just pulling it normally. Um, now we don't see Ant Man here on here, but I'm assuming that he's probably inside of this uh, this arrow. Um, but definitely gonna be interesting to see. It looks like a pretty big. Uh, bow here. It looks like this bow might be like big enough to kind of take down, uh, maybe take down Iron Man or something if he needed to, you know, take down a small, a small, a small helicopter or something. I think this could be interesting. So it's pretty cool. He just kind of goes, launches it, and then slowly, we slowly it explodes, and then we get where is he? Is he here? I think there's Ant Man right there, if I'm not mistaken, um, or there could be pieces of him there, and then. Bam, we have Ant-Man on the air, on pieces of the arrow. So that's kind of cool to see him fly like that. Um, and then he kind of co comes and lands, uh, and, you know, lands on Iron Man. Uh, there goes through Iron Man's arm and stuff. Definitely going to be interesting to see. Uh, can't wait to see if they do, if they bring him, they put him inside of Iron Man's costume. I'd love to see him. Maybe not. I know in the, the Ant-Man movie, you know, he, he couldn't, he, he went through the, to the, uh, um, what was that dimension? But the, the the he shrunk between the molecules and stuff. Whereas I don't think he'll do that in this movie unless he needs to. Uh, but I doubt he will uh, need to do that in this movie. But still, going in, seeing him inside of Iron Man's tag and kind of pulling pieces apart and stuff, I think that would be cool to see that and see how Iron Man kind of fights him, uh, keeps him out from just shrinking down and getting small and taking apart, you know, beating up Iron Man from the inside of his of his suit and stuff. That's gonna be cool to see him do that. Uh, and see how something like that would happen or actually it would be cool to see if, if he could cr crawled in one of the cracks of Iron Man's suit and then kind of uh, you know like if he was hanging on to Iron Man's helmet while when Iron Man had to uh, got to kind of hide away into his uh, through, you know just got to follow into the rest of his suit and then he used that to get inside of his suit and then just grew big and then kind of destroyed Iron Man's suit from the inside out I think that could be pretty cool a thing to see with that so we we'll have to wait and see but it definitely looks cool to see him uh, you know on uh, Iron Man's, uh, you know, flying on the arrow and doing that stuff. So definitely going to be interesting to see how that kind of goes and stuff and what happens, uh, you know, when he's small and stuff. Uh, and also we do know he, he should be getting big uh, at some point in this uh, in this movie, so we'll have to wait and see. But hopefully they'll keep that, the Giant Man version, uh, hidden, and we'll save that for the actual movie. So, yeah. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.